But first, we begin with 23 ABC's Carlos Correa with how an early morning sightseeing event turned into a demolition disaster. Thousands of people lined up to witness the takedown of the final remaining structures at the former Kern Power Plant. We've lived in Rosedale for over 20 years and it's something that we've always drove by and asked why, what are they going to do with it? It was, it was intimidating. I was very struck by uh, the sound and the explosion. But what turned out to be a well-organized implosion led by PG&E and contractor Cleveland Wrecking Company suddenly went out of control. Flying debris injured at least five people, including a 43-year-old man who suffered a traumatic partial amputation on one leg and major injuries to the other. The fellow that I'm with was with over here. They they got a video of the of the thing going down. I mean, but then he he came over and told me he said that fellow he said he's pretty badly cut. Fred Garton sat next to his son watching the demolition from a Lowe's parking lot. Shortly after the explosion, within seconds, uh, I caught a piece of uh, shrapnel in my uh, right, right leg. He was sitting at a safe distance, about 1,300 feet away from the plant when he was hit. This felt like a piece of metal hit me, you know, you know kind of like getting hit with a baseball bat, I guess, right below the knee. You can see just how much of an impact that flying debris had. It not only caused damage to this fence right here, but to cars that were parked nearby, including a Police vehicle. There's no estimate on the cost of property damage, but PG&E and its contractor are now working with law enforcement to figure out what went wrong. In Bakersfield, Carlos Correa, 23 ABC.